So do you know if your evening routine is helping you or hurting you? Or do you even have an evening routine? I never used to have one. Well, sleep science can tell us a lot these days about how to improve the quality of our sleep, our sleep quality through an evening routine. It helps our circadian rhythms and our REM sleep and the quality of our sleep. But I want to tell you first how important a sleep routine has become in my household since the birth of my son. I'm Leah. I'm one of the meditation experts on the Balance app, and this is the first part of a series about how sleep routines can help us have better quality sleep. We're going to talk about the science behind evening routines and better quality sleep and what kids can teach us about having a healthy evening routine. So here's what goes on in my household every evening. My son is not allowed to watch any kind of screens an hour before bedtime. That is the rule. And I noticed that really, really helps shift his energy and to settle him down. I also dim the lights a bit more in my house so it's not so bright. And then we do a little toothbrush song to get him to brush his teeth. Uh, he's two and a half. So any kind of encouragement helps with brushing the teeth. Then we usually do a shower or bath time. And at that point, he's already starting to tell me he's ready for bed and he points upstairs and says up and he wants to grab his sippy cup and take it upstairs where we've already chilled our room. We do co-sleeping with him and the room is dark, but it's got a little twinkle light. Oh, so there's like stars moving across the ceiling and across the bed canopy. And he just jumps in bed and lays there with us for a few minutes and likes to look at all the stars and we just gently, one of us just gently rocks him for a minute. And then he falls asleep pretty quickly within minutes. This is something we've been doing for quite a while. And it took us a little time to find what worked for him. I noticed that it makes me want to fall asleep, to be quite honest, because that is quite soothing. Um, but I noticed when we travel and we're not in our normal location and we don't have you know, the dark room with the twinkle lights, or if it's not cool enough, or if we didn't have time to go through that whole routine beforehand, he definitely doesn't get to bed as fast and he doesn't sleep as well. And it's just a lot more challenging for everyone. So I've noticed the routine is super helpful for him to be more relaxed and calm and enter into that sleep state. So a consistent evening routine is part of what sleep scientists refer to as good sleep hygiene. And it can really help us, especially if we have any kind of sleep disorders like sleep deprivation, which honestly most of us are struggling with in the Western world today, or if you struggle with insomnia, this is going to really help. A lot of the sleep science that we have today centers around children's evening routines and sleep, but it's been shown to have similar effects on adults. What's cool here is research is showing what I've noticed in my household, which is that when you have a good quality sleep routine, children can get a lot of benefits from that, like being able to fall asleep earlier when you want them to, being able to fall asleep faster, and not waking up as much throughout the night so they get better quality sleep. And the results are that these effects last with them all the way into adulthood. And also for you, if you have anxiety about falling asleep, the predictability of having a solid evening routine is going to help release anxious thoughts in your mind and give your mind something positive and familiar to focus on, which is going to help bring you into a relaxed state of mind in your nervous system and be able to fall asleep faster and deeper for better quality sleep. Well, there you have it. Sleep research and my personal experience backs up that having a good bedtime routine is going to help with good quality sleep. So if you don't have a bedtime routine already and you would like to create one, here's a little encouragement to find one that works best for you. First, just start small and simple. For the next couple of days, I want you to do an inventory. Take stock of what it is that you are doing an hour or so before bed. You might take some notes and jot down. Am I spending five minutes on social media? Am I answering emails? Am I watching shows on Netflix? Am I having a cup of coffee? Am I reading a book? And then notice what of those things that you're doing actually seem to help move the needle to make you feel more relaxed and tired and at ease. And you might notice there's some things that do and some things that really don't. So this is where you want to start and take inventory of what works best for you. And then you'll be ready for part two of this series where we're going to walk through how to create a healthy evening routine for yourself. 